Soccer rules. Soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. Although the main idea of the game is easy to understand, there are many rules to be followed. A player gets a yellow card for not following the rules. A yellow card is a warning. If a player keeps breaking the rules, he gets a red card. When this happens, he cannot play anymore. He is ejected from the game. Another rule is about handling. Handling is when another player touches the ball with his hands on purpose. Players cannot handle the ball. A player may not do anything that is dangerous to another player. He cannot kick an opponent's leg to get the ball. There are also some lesser-known rules. A player is not allowed to impede an opponent. This means that a player cannot purposely slow down another player on the field. A penalty can be called if this occurs. There is a rule about blocking a goalkeeper too. A yellow card or an indirect kick can be given to the opponent's team if the player tries this. Yes, soccer is full of rules. Visit Frisco City. Frisco City is the place for your next vacation. The city has lots of shopping, food, and fun. There are so many things to do. The River Walk is a must-see. Take a city bus to any of the three downtown stops. There you will find stairs. The stairs go down to the riverside. There are about five kilometers of sidewalk on either side of the river. Palm trees and cypress trees decorate the area. There are also tropical plants. You will see many unique shops, casual cafes, and upscale restaurants. Every shop is different. You can ride one of the river boats and hear a guide talk about the history of the River Walk. However, the River Walk is only one of the attractions of Frisco City. There are also two amusement parks just outside Frisco City. You can enjoy a day of fun in the sun at Water World Park. You can also spend the day enjoying the roller coasters and other rides at Sunland. Visit Frisco City. You will have a great time. Asking for directions. Asking for directions can be risky. I realized exactly how risky it could be when I needed to meet one of my friends one day. A while ago, I arranged to meet my friend at a new mall. My friend had been there before, and indicated that we should shop there together. We planned to meet at 3 p.m. at Burger Palace in the mall. When I arrived at the mall, I realized I did not know where Burger Palace was, so I asked a woman for directions. She advised me to go straight past the bank and turn right before the food court. She mentioned that I would walk for a few minutes, passing a shoe store. Until I reached Burger Palace, which was next to the bookstore, I followed her directions and arrived just in time. Twenty minutes later, I was beginning to wonder where my friend was. Thirty minutes later, I was worried. I did not know what to do, so I just kept waiting. At around 3:40 p.m., I saw my friend walking quickly toward me. I rushed to him and demanded to know what happened. I was at the other Burger Palace," he cried. "We had not realized there were two Burger Palaces in the mall. Since then, I have made sure that I get the directions from my friends before I go to meet them. It saves me a lot of trouble." Fixing a flat. When your car gets a flat tire, do not panic. First, apply your brakes and pull over. Inside the trunk, you will find a spare tire and a toolbox. One of these tools is a jack, which is a tool you use to raise the car. This makes the tire easy to remove. Position the jack beneath the car, behind the tire that is flat. Insert the jack handle and turn it clockwise. Continue turning the handle. Until the car rises high enough 
so that the flat tire is well off the ground and spins freely. Make sure that the jack is securely supporting the vehicle. If the car is unsteady or the jack is unstable, lower the car. Reposition the jack and begin again. Next, use a crowbar to pry off the hubcap, the metal cover on the side of the tire. Inside the hubcap are four bolts that hold the tire in place. Loosen these using the long L-shaped tool. Push firmly on the tool to get the bolts to turn. It may be difficult. Once the bolts are loose, the flat tire can be pulled off easily. Now you can put on the new tire. Once it is in place, replace the four bolts and tighten them. Place the flat tire and the toolbox back in the trunk. Finally, drive to the nearest service station and get your flat tire fixed. The First Nations The First Nations are the people who lived in North America before Europeans migrated there. There is a place in Canada where you can learn about the culture of the First Nations. It is where the First Nations people used to live. Now, a visitor center is there. There is also an archaeology lab and walking trails. You can learn about the culture through the displays in the center. The displays show everyday activities. They show how the people lived. The gift shop in the visitor center sells crafts made by the First Nations people. There are jewelry, paintings, and pottery. You can also eat at the restaurant. Bison meat is in many dishes. There are also wild rice dishes, fruit pies, and traditional bread. All of the food is tasty. The archaeology lab is run by the local university. A big window lets you see the archaeologists working. They found a very old spearhead. They also found ancient human bones. The First Nations Visitor Center is a great place. You can learn about the First Nations culture. You can also see archaeologists at work. You can walk on the trails or enjoy a traditional meal. It is an experience to remember.